Hello, my name's Sam and welcome to my channel So Let's Sparkle with Sam. So if you are new, welcome and if you have followed before, welcome back. Today this is my Friday Sews, hashtag Friday Sews video brought to us by the lovely Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about my sewing life this week, what I've been up to, make some plans and yeah, a bit of my plans for next week. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, then don't forget to give me a like and um, subscribe if you are into that, because that would really make my day. So a couple of thank yous. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you that have commented on my videos um, last week. And well, thank you to anyone that's commented on any of my videos. In fact, I've had quite a few belated comments this week. Um, I do try and reply to everyone. Um, I always get there in the end. I'm not quite up to date yet, but um, I do do my best. And if I do miss you for any reason, don't forget, you know, feel free to message me again and give me a little prompt um, if I don't get back to you. It's because I may have lost the message. Um, I haven't forgotten. I may have just read it and then lost the message. So, yeah. So what have I been up to this week? So last Friday, I left your Friday shows with, oh, a big haul, all of my birthday goodies and things, which was great. And I've actually made quite a lot of progress on some of those. So I got two bag kits and I've cut them both out. I plan to sew them, hopefully sew them both tomorrow or Monday. Today is Saturday, by the way. I know it's Friday shows, but it's Saturday today. So normally I would have um, a Thursday off and work on Friday. Um, this week I was working Thursday and Friday so I just didn't have time <laughs> to do a Friday sews on the Friday so it's Saturday morning. Um, I've been up this morning doing a few bits and pieces and, and yeah and I thought I'd do you a quick video so you get one out this week. So this week I've been kept quite busy because I've been thinking a lot about my vlogs and I've been thinking about a lot about my makes and plans for the rest of the year and I just was thinking a lot about the makes and plans that I had I wanted them to be significant I wanted them to mean something um, and I didn't want to get into the habit of making things for the sake of making things and when I say that is I sometimes get lost in a oh that's pretty kind of scenario I'm sure you all totally understand I'll look at a pattern I think oh that's pretty and then I think oh I've got some fabric for that oh I could make that I have the skills to make that and then I make it without doing the would I wear it is it going to be useful in my wardrobe questions so I thought this week and I've been doing going on Instagram I'll um put my Instagram link in down below so you can go and have a look. So I've done seven days of me maids. Now I know that there are lots of things that you can do me may may um, where you can do it kind of officially to kind of assess your wardrobe whereas I just thought you know this week is a good week to do it. I had a lot of mixture of going out and work and life and home so I knew that I would have to wear different things for different occasions and different days and I just wanted to see what it was in my wardrobe that I reached for. I hope that makes sense and <laughs> I hope I'm not being too indulgent but um, yeah I just I thought that way I can then really think about what it is that I need to make. So I'm going to do a complete video on that. Um, so if that is something you're interested in, then please, you know, as I said, if you hit the notification bell when I put up my next video, you will be the first to see it. So I'm definitely going to go to more detail. But that's what that's what's kept me busy this week. And to be honest, it's been really good and it's definitely taught me a lot. Um, what else have I been up to this week? I've been in a bit of recovery this week. I just, I was exhausted after all of the birthday celebrations and I don't, and I just do feel like this week I've just been kind of catching up with myself. Um, and I've also been extra busy at work. So not had too much sewing time. Although I have had time to make massive boo-boos <laughs> this week. 
So um, those of you who've watched my videos before know that I am participating in the Pogo Knit Party that's going on on the interweb. And if you don't know about it, then please, I will pop, um, I will pop uh, Christine at Gemini Stitches uh, tag down below and go and check everything Pogo Nip out there. Um, but hey ho, <laughs> saves to say, on the 29th of February, um, on Instagram, there's a Pogo Nip party. And if you make a Pogo Nip, you can pop it on your Instagram story, tag in certain people, certain things, and you can be in for winning prizes. Now, I was totally up for doing that. And this week was my plan to make my pogo nip. Um, and so I thought I'll have a go at a practice welt pocket first because I have done a welt pocket before. I did it on very stable woven fabrics. I, you know, I followed the instructions. I didn't really have any real problems, but it was a while ago, quite a long time ago. I'm doing it on different fabrics. So I thought, you know what? Better safe than sorry, Sam. Have a go. Um, I did the first one on some fat on some scrap French terry and it was a disaster. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know. How. So I thought, right, okay. Um, that didn't, that didn't work how I thought it was going to work. So I then put the video on the lovely Chelsea from Friday Pattern Company, watched that and thought, oh, okay. Yeah. I think that looks a bit different to how I did it before. So I did it I did it again, following her instructions and looking at the instructions on my sheet. On the other side, on again, some scrap French terry. And um, and that one went a lot better. I wasn't 100% happy with it, but it went a lot better. So then I did it again, again on some scrap and did it again. And it worked okay. And I was like, oh, that's great. Fantastic. So then I got my piece my pattern piece for my actual pogo nip and I did it on there and I did it totally wrong I did it completely inside out <laughs> so so that went out the window <laughs> I I I, prom I actually did have a silent cry <laughs> So, and that was my actual pattern piece. So I was like, okay, don't worry about it. Let's see what we've got here. And unfortunately I'd cut, I'd used all of the spare fabric because I'd used the fabric to make the linings as well. No, I didn't need to. And actually in hindsight, I shouldn't have done. If I'd have used the a different fabric for the lining, I would have had plenty. So what I have done is I have... <laughs> I have ordered an extra meter of the fabric from Pound Fabrics and I will have a go again. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, I don't know whether to start on the other, because I've got two lots of fabric. I don't know whether to start on the other pogo nip, but I'm reluctant to until I've kind of nailed this welt pocket scenario because yeah. So I think I'm gonna be quite tight on time. <laughs> one and it just goes to show you know sewing it doesn't it doesn't always go as it looks on Instagram it doesn't it that's not how it or you know sometimes things go wrong and it's okay but yeah I've definitely learned from my mistake though I will yeah I will definitely make sure and the, the I, I'm kicking completely kicking myself because actually I only needed to keep a very small panel in case that's happened because obviously the welt parts are very, very small. It was just that panel. <sighs> and I have no way. And I can't even tell you how I managed to get it the wrong way around as well because I was carefully following everything along. I must have just had a little bit of brain fog or something going on. But yeah. Hey, ho. so that was fun. Oh, I got so cross with it. So cross. I'd done one side fine as well. That Oh, that was the other thing. I'd done one okay. And then the other, yeah, the other one wrong way around. So completely useless. Anywho, that's, that's enough talk about that. So we're just not going to think about that for now. Um, I've ordered the fabric. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get here. And then obviously I need to wash it. And yeah, so 
I may have a pogo nip to show on the 29th of February, or I may not. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but I have got some other makes that I need to make. I've still got my Tilly and the Button Stella joggers that I need to finish. And obviously I've cut out, I've cut out my two kits, my first for fabrics crescent tote kit i've cut out and ready to sew and also the sewing box kit although i have had to send an email to the sewing box to the circle bag because i think that there may be something missing from my kit i'm not 100 percent sure but i've read through the instructions and i think there may be something missing from my kit so i've um i've sent them a little email and we'll see i'll let you know how i get on with that so yeah, so I've got plenty of things to keep me busy. I was, it was just one of those oh, moments. But you know, we all have them. We all have them. And I think my main problem was, was because I'd done the work pocket before and everything went fine, I was like, well, it's fine. Um, but because it was slightly different and it was different fabric, I didn't, I didn't give it enough thought that I needed to. And then when I was kind of carrying on and carrying on and, you know, not being successful, I was getting in my own head. So, yeah, I need to make sure that I don't do that again. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that's that's basically been my main sewing disaster this week. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a fail, but onwards and upwards so my plans for this week so this afternoon I'm going to go and get my nails done because <laughs> yeah <laughs> not good um so I'm going to go and get my nails done and I'm also going to get my eyebrows done at the same time because my eyebrows are definitely disappearing which they tend to do being of fair complexion my eyebrows do sometimes just disappear so I'm off to do that this afternoon. Um, and then, tomorrow, as I said, tomorrow and Monday are my main kind of sewing days. So I've got everything cut out, ready to go for that. Um, and then I'm working. So, yeah, those, those are my main plans. I have actually set myself up this week with a lovely little sofa sewing project because... I have got really into a television series called One Day. It's on Netflix. Now, it's based on a book, um, and I read the book years ago and absolutely loved it. Um, and I watched the film. They brought a film out, and I found the film a bit disappointing, to be honest. So I really, really loved the book. Found the film a bit disappointed, but they've got a TV series, One Day. The book's by David Nichols. And is it David Nichols? Yeah. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down the bottom. <laughs> I'm rubbish with names. <laughs> and yeah, so I've got really into that and I've been really, really enjoying it. And normally, like with those kinds of series, I can have them on in my sewing room. But um, yeah, I can't do sewing machine sewing while I'm doing that because it's, yeah, and, and there's too much concentrating in both parts that need to go on. So what I have done, bear with me is I have made myself some stargazing bunnies. I know. So I've cut out some bunny shapes with felt and they're little bunnies that are staring at the stars and then they get a little ear shape and then I've also cut out some stars. So my bunnies are going to be holding stars and telescopes you'll get the idea so um i'm gonna make some little stargazing bunnies as little easter gifts for my friends um so i thought i'd get a start on that so i've cut out i think i've cut out 10 maybe 10 8 8 i've cut out eight bunnies um i might cut out a few more i'll see how much bits of felt i've got left over see what i've got but yeah, I do like a little bit of hand stitching 
um yeah and it's quite a nice one to do on the sofa so yeah so hopefully i'll get those bunnies sewn up and i'll get through the season although it's not lasting very long they're not very long so i think i should get through that quite quickly so if anyone's got any recommendations for anything that i should watch after that to help me finish off my bunnies then please let me know so <laughs> yeah so that's really it really it's short and sweet for me today um it's yeah my friday sews i think i had so much on last week that this week has been quite chilled Oh, I did have one thing through the post. Let me share it with you. So, and I'm going to blame this purchase entirely on the lovely Helen from Stitch Hem Repeat. So, I was watching her, I think it was her last week Friday Sews or her last video. Um, and she was talking about something she'd bought from Cloth Kits. Now, my friend, um, she... Um, she's not really into sewing but obviously she knows that I am and she was saying oh the only thing I ever remember about sewing is my mum used to buy these cloth kits in the 70s and she was telling me all about it and I'd never heard of them and I was like oh that sounds really really interesting and so when Helen reminded me about these cloth kits I thought oh I've never really had a look so I'll go and have a look on their website anyway I did and they had a sale on <laughs> on some of their fabrics well you know it has just been my birthday and i was feeling a little bit flush so i have bought this i mean look at it i had to it's got my name written it basically says so let sparkle with sam on it doesn't it don't you think <laughs> don't know why I'm trying to justify this to you so um I've got three meters it was an absolute bargain it's a like a sateen um it's absolutely gorgeous and I don't know what I'm gonna make with it I have no idea whatsoever but I saw it and just had to have it I have seen it before um but when I saw it before it was just out of my price range it was just that she I was like I couldn't justify it but it was in the sale it was an absolute bargain and I thought yeah so I've got three meters of it so I should be able to make myself something quite exciting so yeah answers on a postcard please let me know what to make with my lovely starry fabric and yeah thanks Helen <laughs> for the top tips on the cloth kits yeah and go and check them out so yeah that is me i will see you all very soon don't forget to sparkle bye for now <laughs>